Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I am the Game Snob and in today's video we are taking a look at a match which proves uh, that when you're playing a newbie in death, uh, you just shouldn't quit too early. That's the point of today's video. Uh, it's also um, a lesson in demoralizing your opponent. <laughs> I appreciate the game there, ATN, brother. No offense personally, of course, but I can imagine that if I were on the uh, on your side of the board, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. Anyway, I won't give too many spoilers away. Let's watch the game. We're going to kick things off with a fanatic of somewhere or other. Gives everybody a little bit of extra mana. Who doesn't like a little extra mana? It's a gift for you. It's a gift for me. Everybody's happy. The best place to be when you're getting mana from uh, on both sides of the of the deck is you want the enemy to destroy the mana giving creature. If you both give plus one plus one mana, then if they destroy the creature, you're the first one to get that bonus. If you destroy your own creature on your turn, they get the bonus first, and they kind of potentially get a bit of an edge out of that. So it's always best if you let your opponent destroy your uh, mana plus one mana for each. Uh, opponent and yourself. It's always better. Pyramid Wardens. Two of them. So here I'm thinking, uh, you know, I've got two Pyramid Wardens. That should be enough to deal with some blade flies. I've also got the Malaysian Magistrate, so I thought this is going to get silly. But then he throws out a Poison Dart. Who uses Poison Dart? I almost never see Poison Dart used. Regardless, it's enough to get rid of all my Pyramid Wardens and bring back a bunch of his blade flies. So yeah, that's a pretty good momentum uh momentum sway right from the start and at this point i'm actually really skunked uh i've got nothing to play nothing at all he's already got the uh, momentum and i got nothing to play so um pass turn now i could have played malaysian magistrate on an empty board but i hate doing that so much it has so much value when you play it on another big anubian i just didn't want to waste it and once again i'm totally skunked i have to pass a turn and this is where yeah, the momentum starts going rather poorly for me. Um, he's got two Veil Warden Minotaurs on his board, a Rune of Strength in hand, and a couple of Blade Flies. Uh, I, however, do at least have Neferu in hand. Neferu, uh, when she goes on the board, she's going to damage me for three, which will put her in range for coming back into my hand when she dies. So, worst case scenario, I figure, you know what? I can clean out one of his creatures next turn if he doesn't deal with Neferu. If he does deal with Neferu, I can throw her down again, clear out the board again because my health is so low. And this is where Neferu really shines. Uh, in terms of momentum recovery, uh, Neferu can help... Uh, well, you know, now things are actually looking pretty sour, I gotta say, with... <laughs> With uh, only 5 points of, of health left, my opponent has 25, and he's got frontline and a couple... No, he's got a bunch of creatures on the board. Um, yeah. But what I can actually do here is I can kind of YOLO it in that I throw Neferu into the Veil Row, Warden Minotaur, she comes back into my hand, I throw her down again... And that leaves me still with two points of health, right? That should be enough for anybody. Who would need more than two points of health, right? Like, that should be fine. That That's enough. It's, you know, one should be enough. And I got twice as much as that. That should be okay. So now I'm eyeing up the Rune of Life, but the Vow of Champions comes into hand. And I was like, uh-oh, we don't want to give him that two damage reach. I'm hoping he doesn't have anything that can reach my face. He does have a lot of cards in hand. And I've got... Uh, Two points of health against my opponents, 28 points of health, and Neferu on the board, which I cannot use again. However, we do see Demogorgon in hand. Demogorgon, the super duper uh, most powerful card in the game. Certainly, probably one of the most powerful cards in the game. For good gosh darn reason, Demogorgon swings games. Really, really does. And uh, this is going to, I think, in some part, be demonstrated. Uh, in this game, where I'm at 2 health, Demogorgon hits the board, and now things are okay. Things are a little bit better. I got four or 5 health. I got Demogorgon on the board. My opponent's fairly uh, got a fairly clean board, and uh, whoop, there's a big old bull, but you know what? I'm not even too worried about that. 
because we've got Nephilus Garden Guardian in hand to put down some frontline. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack face here to get a little bit more healing because, you know, heaven knows I could use some more healing in this regard. Um, we got the Blitz Reaver on the board to deal with the broccoli and uh, going to grab that Ruin of Life because why not? On retrospect, I'm counting the number of cards in my hand. You see me counting them there. It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, did I just take too many cards? One, two, three, four, yeah. So I think I'm going to overdraw next turn, unfortunately. That's one of my least favorite things to do. Losing good cards? I love all my cards in my decks. I hate losing good cards. Um, and then it also occurs to me, oh, no, oh that's right, the Nephilus Guardian of giving protected to uh, after, Afterlife only applies to, only applies to other Anubians, and of course... Netherspawn is the only non-Anubian in my deck, except for Felid Tracker, which I actually put there temporarily, but have seen, since taken out. I was going to try some fun shenanigans with a couple of Felid Trackers and over the line, but never really pans out, so I ended up taking Felid Tracker out of the equation. But Neferu is the absolute rock star of this game. Neferu for her, her uh, third play on the board now, combined with a uh, blood ritual, clears it, and uh, suddenly things are looking a lot less daunting than, a lot less daunting than two health against, uh, two health and an almost empty board against my opponent's almost full board. That, that, that doesn't, that's a scary place to be. <laughs> There's me counting cards again. It's like, how many do I have in hand? Am I going to overdraw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, <laughs> and then Neferu comes back in, so I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to overdraw here. Oops. Luckily, not the end of the world. Lost Nephilus, uh, no, my second Nephilus card, and that's okay. I figure it's time to discard, uh, so i got to put some healing. I might as well put some healing on and do some discarding at this point. Frost Queen Neferu's never bad. Nice, solid 4-4 four, four body on the board. Uh, I largely put her down because then I could target a heal and discard some more cards and free up some space in my hand for whatever good things may come. In this deck, I've got two Emberonis. I've also got two Demogorgons. So I've just got crazy amounts of recovery heal so that even if a game goes down to two health, <laughs> there's still a chance to recover. And he removes my Frost Queen Neferu, but the tables have started to turn here in that I now have actually more health than my opponent. Remember, not so long ago I was down to 2 health to his 28, but thanks to the overpowering sway of Demogorgon and uh, Neferu, the, the ne Demogorgon and Neferu, the absolute champions of this game, Neferu about to go down for her fourth play? I think that's Neferu's fourth time down. Four time down, four board wipes, basically, give or take. And I do have a Blitz Reaver in my void now, which is really nice, combined with, uh, oh, I forget his name, brings back the Blitz Reaver as a 2-2 two -two, uh, two -two Blitz Deadly creature. Frontline and Jag, etc., etc., with Wildfire. Uh, my opponent is uh, pretty much out of cards at this point, and I'm guessing probably feeling like this deck I'm playing in Deba Morgan's a tad overpowered, and he's not wrong about that. <laughs> he's not wrong about that. Deba Morgan is very powerful. There's the Blitz, re the Deadly Blitz Reaver, and uh, the something something curate with uh malaysian magistrate to bring it back in case it yeah no that's it okay hope you guys have enjoyed today's video